Can you tell me if you fought in the war? If you did fight in the war, what war was it? Nothing that I can really pull out. What year is it where you're at? Larry, I thought I heard 64. I heard the 6, that was it. Is that 1964? Is it 1864? 18. I, I heard 18. Okay. 1864. So you're a Civil War soldier. Did you fight in the Civil War? Is there an item in this museum that belongs to you? So that could have been a yes there, I don't know. It sounded like it said it is. I swear it sounded like it said it is. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you for donating your item to the museum. Can you tell me what it is? Larry, we're getting hits on the Geiger counter. You're going to get very low bass lines. It's going to just... Leak. See that? Yeah, that's fine. That's normal. It's when it goes... Da -da 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 kind of like a, a K2. That's when you got to be like, hey, wait a minute. Okay, just so you two know, we are live on my page. Not on the Ghost Hunter Dan, but on my Facebook profile. Only because the Twitter one wasn't picking up. Okay, that's fine. And we can throw this to YouTube user. So. Yeah. so anyway, guys, what we have here is a Geiger counter. And if you see that little green light flashing, that's the Geiger counter. And it is a true Geiger counter. It does measure radiation. Right now we're set for x-ray. We're set for x-ray radiation, and it is kicking up. Now, most likely not from this, because this isn't going to put off radiation. No, we'll put off EMF. There is a baseline for X-ray. But there is so, a baseline for X-ray. Right now, these, hey, little, these little blips, not a big deal. It's when it starts flickering fast. That's when we need to be a little more cautious. Okay. So, we're in the middle of a ghost box session. We've established that there is somebody from the Civil War here from 1864. Okay, so let's continue this. And we'll just keep you guys live here with us as we go. Um, did you die in Gettysburg? I thought I heard a yes. Maybe. Maybe a yes? Maybe, yeah. Are you sitting here at the table with us? Are you from the north or the south? Could you say that again? I couldn't hear you. South. Okay. I just heard south. Okay. So you are a Confederate soldier. Yes. All right. Can you tell us what state you're from? I didn't quite understand that. Could you repeat what state you're from? How about what city? Guys, we've got a couple people watching us live. We are running the ghost box in reverse, so anything that's coming across discernible 
is not from a broadcast. How do you feel about the war? Are you upset? No. I distinctly heard a no. Yeah. Okay. Are you glad the war is over? Could you say that again, please? Can I ask you a question, and I, and I mean no disrespect by this, so please do not take this the wrong way. Did you believe in slavery? I thought I heard a yes and then a no. I, is there more than one person here with us? Could you repeat that? I'm having a hard time hearing you. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, and and sir, I, I'm not I'm not judging you either way. If you are okay with slavery that's fine. If you're not okay with slavery, that's fine too. Uh, I'm not judging you in either way. I just wanted to know if you, if you were glad that it was abolished and the war was over. I heard a yes. Well, we do thank you for your service to the Confederate States of America, which is now once again part of the United States of America. And in our eyes, you are a soldier of the United States. Whether you were Union or Confederate, it does not matter to us. We respect you either way. One last thing before we go. We're going to go back downstairs. We're going to leave you alone for a little bit. There's a white box here on the table. This, this white box right here. Can you touch this box and try to make the, the green light go off? Try a little bit harder. Really, really push with your energy, trying to get that to blink a lot. That's pretty cool. Now, guys, you're not going to see it on the on the videos, but you are seeing it live. That is our Geiger counter light going off, and when Larry's asking for for the spirit to use its energy to light it up, it is blinking faster. So with this, as we're going with it, we've seen it go blink, blink. And when it's blink. when it's establishing a baseline, it's gonna to continue to just blink. A very intermittent blink, blink. But that one time it was blink, 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 When blink. When you asked for it to... Right. So, I'm sorry, sir, I don't mean to refer to you as it. When you asked for him, him to expend his energy to make the light blink. Could you do it one it more time? Just put your hand on it and really push a lot of energy through it. It's the last time we're gonna ask you to do it. And then we don't want you to expend any more energy after that. You think you can do that? It's, it's okay if it's okay if you can't. We understand that we we did ask you a couple times and you did try a couple times and we do appreciate that. But now it's not going off. It wasn't going off so, at all for a while. All right, guys. Well, we're going to end this end this uh, ghost box session. We are at the stage. I'm sitting with my back to the stage, and all you're going to see is darkness. Uh, incidentally, our flashlight did die the minute we came up here. We yeah. do have our UV lights. Go ahead and um, turn the ghost box off. So we're going to turn the ghost box off. It's a flashlight. It just said flashlight. It did say flashlight, and it blinked.
sir, before I turn the ghost box off, um, we will come back and talk to you again. So, Larry, it's like it's Morse code, man. I, I'm seeing the blinking. I'm seeing it. And I'm recording it. So, we will come back and talk to you again. So, please do not uh, be upset that we're, we're not leaving. We're going to be here for a little while. So, you will have a chance to talk to us again. So, did anything, you hear it? It goes, okay. Is there anything else you want to say to us? Before I turn this off. Randy, you are live with us. This is a Geiger counter. I, I, I couldn't understand that. Could you say it again? All right. Well, we thank you for your time and talking with us. And if you were able to make that green light go, thank you so much for that. I saw that. That was awesome. And uh, we hope to speak with you again a little later tonight. So thank you. Thank you. I'm going to turn the ghost box off. Okay, the ghost box is off. So now any voices we pick up with the recorder will be voices. So Randy, why I have you here, um, and I'm going to hit the power on this as well. Mm -hmm. Randy, why I have you here, um, and your opinion only, now th the ghost box is off, it's, it's gone. Um, the Geiger counter should just be blinking, and I think I'm blocking it. The Geiger counter should only be blinking as a baseline. So now if it goes up, um, and I think it goes bink, 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 bink. But when it goes up, that mean, that doesn't necessarily mean paranormal contact, but it could. It now, could. we're doing something different. We're not measuring EMF. We are measuring X-ray radiation. And we were, we're gonna, we'll pop on live again and we'll show you the new Geiger counter. It's not gonna be affected by EMF, guys. It's only radiation, which is one of the theories that Larry and I have, is that when you feel sick, we think it's low-level radiation. And we're actually trying to prove, disprove this with this Geiger counter all the time now. So, did the spirit touch the Geiger counter? It's too hard to say. Might have. Maybe not. Maybe it did. So, this is something new that we're trying as the Ghost Hunter Dan Norvell Project. And hopefully we get some good results. So, Larry, make your way over, should turn the lights on, and then I'll cut the live stream after the lights go off. Or go back on. So, Larry's going to make his way over. See that light going off, Steve? Yeah, I heard it. It's going off a lot more. <laughs> Randy, I, Randy, if you're here with us, I swear to God, it's almost like Morse code. So, here, here, here's what the guy your counter looks like, guys. This is a Geiger counter. It is a true. It is a true Geiger counter. So this isn't. This is not EMF, and it also is a data logger. So Larry can actually, or I can plug this in, and this will, this will log the data of any readings that we caught. So we are going to. Uh, we're definitely going to data log that stuff. And it will be it will be part of things. Another tool in our tool. Just box. another tool in the arsenal. So uh, anyway, guys, this is where we did our ghost box session. Now I want to let you guys know. Um, I'm going to go from you guys to me. All right, I'm going to let you guys know that during the ghost box session. It felt like somebody was standing behind me, never touched, but I really got the sensation that somebody was standing like right behind me. Yeah. Uh, not ominous. I didn't feel threatened in any way, but, oh, sorry. But I definitely did feel like somebody was behind me. Now, did you guys see anything behind me? I saw you? a light, a, like a ball of light or go up behind you. Okay, so Steve... And Steve was recording in UV or IR? He was recording you. So if it was immediately behind you, it might show up. It, okay. I seen it on camera. Oh, you did? I but were you in UV or IR? UV. 
Steve. Okay, so Steve was in Steve was in UV using one of our new UV cameras. Um, Larry was recording the ghost box session with uh, our task Because it was like right and, straight up. Yep. Nice. And um, for for our next little bit, we're going to kind of do a roving EVP session, if that makes any sense. We're going to turn on the new camera. But no live stream. But we're not going to live stream this one because we're going to need to see where we're going. So we're going to do a roving EVP session and see if the, see if the spirits will follow us through and see if when we walk into hotter places, if that makes any difference or not. We're gonna triple record this thing. We're gonna have the Geiger counter in my pocket. We're going to have Steve on UV, we're gonna have Larry on IR, and we're gonna have the new 4K in IR. So we'll see what we got, but I can't live stream that because I can't run two things at time at the same time. Sandy's going not sensitive, huh, Dan? Uh, no, I'm not. So, <laughs> Sandy, you're not gonna convince me, so. <laughs> all right so anyway guys thank you for joining us for that live session i did try it on twitter i kept i kept losing the feed my phone kept saying uh feed i took the wi-fi off went to facebook live we did that fine so i'll be able to post this to youtube so i'm gonna switch back to larry and steve boom so there's ghost hunter larry there's ghost hunter steve i'm behind the camera this is where we did our first ghost box session and uh some pretty good results yeah, I think we got some really compelling stuff. Yep. I think Scott's really going to like it. Yeah. Uh, this is the stage. Um, so this is where we're at. We're at the Vets Hall. Um, continue. Why we're, why we're not doing any live stream stuff, please continue to watch the live stream downstairs. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll, uh, hopefully we'll keep catching good stuff. The Sandy? You're, you're looking at the vets hall. I'm standing in front of the stage. I'm going to stand and give you a 360 of this. Maybe while we're changing batteries and doing we're going to go down and change our batteries over and stuff. Uh, do you feel anything here with us, Sandy? I keep feeling like I'm being watched from over there. Yeah, I do too. Right over here, Sandy. Right, right in the balcony. There, by that glass. Right, yeah. Right by the glass, Sandy. Um, let me give you a little bit better view of the balcony. We'll walk up the stairs. Okay, so there's Larry, there's Steve, there's where I was sitting. Right up by the glass over here, Sandy, right over there is where we're feeling stuff. Sandy says yes. Uh, we don't feel threatened though, Sandy. I, I really wholeheartedly feel that there's nothing negative or no. evil here at the Vets Hall. This building will never threaten me. Am I correct in saying that, Sandy? Because I don't feel threatened. Sandy says you are. You are correct. All right, Sandy. Well, I'll tell you what. Keep watching because we're going to post, we're go on to my page so we don't cut away from the live stream downstairs. And we'll do them here. Um... I can't contact you that way, Sandy, but I can read your, your uh, feed. So when I pop back onto this, when we do our next Ghost Box session live, um, join us and let me know who we might be talking to, Sandy. We believe a Civil War soldier, a Confederate soldier, he said from 1864. So uh, we did get that recorded, so we'll see. So this is Ghost Hunter Dan, Steve and Larry right there. And uh, we're going to keep it going here in the Vets Hall. Beautiful night. Feels like the spirits are alive to me. And uh, Sandy says, male, mid 30s. No, it is a vet. No, it's a vet. Just wanting to see what we're doing. He just stopped by to see what we're doing. Yeah, you can definitely come back with us. So we're going to go downstairs. So we'll probably do another ghost box session in here and uh, we'll just kind of see how it goes. So Dan, Larry, Steve, and we're going to get down and get this undergoing. So, or get this underway. Sorry. So Sandy, we'll, we'll catch you guys in the next stream. Thanks.